Hi everyone, welcome back to the Drupal Academy. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create the custom service with the dependency injection in a Drupal 10 with the help of the chat GPT. In this chat GPT with the Drupal series, we have seen how to create the custom module, how to create the custom form and how to create the custom block in the previous video. So we have generated this custom user info module using the chat GPT and all these things are created with the help of the chat GPT like the this custom form, this custom block. Now in this video I will show you how to create the custom service with the dependency injection in a Drupal. I want to display the current logged in user's email address using the services. So now we will go to the chat GPT's website chat.openai.com and in the message of the chat GPT we will add the message like create custom service in Drupal 10 with dependency injection and display the current log in users email address in controller also create routing to access the controller and hit the enter button Now we will check this code by adding it in our Drupal website if it works or not. So first we will check the file which are created. First is this custom user service is created and uh, inside this class is included account proxy interface which is used to get the user current login user details and this method get email will return the current login user's email address. After that in the services.yaml file, this service uh, defined inside the services and after that the controller is created with the dependency injection or that this symphony component dependency injection container interface class is included and inside the display email function, the currently login user's email address is printed and last one is the route file. So on, by accessing this URL, this message will be printed on that page. This points to the our custom controller. Inside this controller, this display email is called. Now we will integrate this in our code. First, I will create this custom user service.php file inside the src directory. New file, paste it here. Now copy this file code. So we need to change this module name because my module name is custom user info. So I will change this namespace to the Drupal slash custom user underscore info. Go to the next file that is this services.yml file so i have already created this services.yml file so my services.yml file name is custom user info this is the model name and services.yml so we will add this new service in this file we will copy from this and paste here we need to change the name as well we'll give it name as a current 
user email also change the this model name with the your model name so my model name is current user info i will add that here again go to the chat gpt and third file is the custom user controller dot php so we create this in our controller folder new file paste here and inside this file we will copy and paste this code again change the model name to the custom user info same we change here because the service is included and uh, here the service is called inside the, the static function so our service name is user info current email copy this paste it here now the last file is the routing file copy this routing file go to the your routing.yml again change the this model name with the your model name rest of the things are we can keep as it is now we will clear the cache vendor slash bin brush cr it will clear the cache after clearing the cache i was getting this error intact handler pass dot php line number 145 method drupal customer user info customer service add handlers does not exist so for that i have removed this tag from the, the services.yml file again clear the cache after that the cache is cleared successfully now we will go to that path and we will check if the we will get the currently logged in users email address so right now i am logged in with the admin user and uh, I will show you the email address of this user is dummy at the right example dot com. Now we will access the path and we should get the email address. So here you can see we are getting the currently logged in users email address using the services. So that's it from this video. We have successfully created the custom service in a Drupal 10 with the help of the chat GPT to get the currently login users email address. So we just need to remove this section from this service because it is not required and because of this we were getting this error. You can use the chat GPT to generate the different types of code it may not be the 100% working but it will help you to make the development faster. I hope this video is useful for you. Please like the video and subscribe our channel for the more Drupal related content. Thank you for watching.